Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome to Doom, specifically the Doom reboot uh, that id Software has made ever so recently, uh, just a few years back. Um, this essentially wraps up my playthrough of all of id Software's uh, own, their, their own in-house iterations of Doom, from Doom 1 through Doom 2 and 3, and now on at last to their reboot and i don't know, i would i would say the reboot was pretty good um i feel it focuses too much on arena based fighting there are too many uh levels that are just go to area start up uh, and and then just defend against oncoming horde um like the original t 2 and including 3 are focused more on the levels themselves Whereas, this game does have some levels for you to traverse, but uh, at the end of the day, there's always go to next big arena, uh, unlock the, pull out the heart or whatever thing, and which starts up the fight, um, and then fight demons. Like, it, and that's the focus on this one. Uh, the focus on this also kind of changes the ebb and flow of the game slightly. Um... Whereas, like, previous games were about you kill demons in order to progress through the level, which opens up the pathway to get items, which are then used to kill demons. Uh, this game combines the killing of the demons and the acquisition of the items in one, uh, in one, uh, pattern of gameplay. You kill the demons by executing them to get health back, you kill demons by chainsawing them to get ammo back and it's by kind of balancing out how you kill demons uh affects how you get your items back which key which uh it, in all fairness it keeps you in the fight as opposed to going through secret areas to trying not to find really cool secrets like throwback levels but more just regular secrets like ammo packs and health packs um like, they focus on just getting that ammo and health by actually having you fight and combat demons. Which kind of reminds me of Diablo 3, uh, where instead of collecting health potions, uh, you got health by fighting bad guys. Uh, there's, there's been a few games that have done that. Uh, but I think I've probably talked too much. So let us start the game, actually. Uh, let us make sure first that, uh, subtitles are on, and vertical sync is on to some degree. All right, let's go. So you walk eternally through the Shadow Realms, standing against evil where all others falter. May your thirst for retribution never quench. May the blood on your sword never dry. And may we never need you again. They ah. are rage, brutal, without mercy. But you, you will be worse. Rip and tear. Until it is done. Ah, my feet, my hands, these chains, these chains do not bind me. And seconds into the game, and he's already killed somebody. That's how you know, uh. That's how you know this game got it right. Ah! I'm gonna attempt to play uh, this game with keyboard and mouse. Um, largely because when I played through it the first time, I played through it with a controller. Uh, which meant you couldn't really swap weapons that easily. Well, you... And they had a, a good, like, weapon swap we system. It ain't contained. 
Did I run into something? No, I did not. Got skulls decorating the place. You know, you got upper... You, you, there's no jaws, though. There are no lower jaws. Like, that seems like a waste. Like, what do they do with all the lower jaws? Do they just throw them away? Ooh, this guy's got... This guy's got, like, an eyeball still in there. Okay. It's a good thing, uh, this armor showed up, but essentially this means he's naked underneath the armor. Satellites are off. Cannot determine the cause of the demonic invasion until the Rezop satellite is brought back online. I mean, who knows how these demonic invasions happen? No! Punching! Punching will satisfy me! Which seems to be basically... Like, they decided with this character... This version of Doom... Um... I should have done a glory kill. Dealing damage to demons will cause them to stagger. Killing demons will always drop health. Probably the best uh, design choice in regards to the execution is the execution of the glory kill is um, that they are fast. Like, you'll end up seeing the... Uh, same animations over and over again. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Would you like a shotgun shell? Imp. These ferocious and agile demons are found all over hell, and are often used in the front line in a concerted attack in either dimension. They revel in battle, feeding off their victims when the hunger takes them. Oh, I can hold down shift to not run. Uh, which is an interesting, uh... It's an interesting choice in comparison to, uh... Modern video games. Because games have gotten very slow over the years. Oh yeah, headshots. Still good. Even in hell. Oh. No. There we go. Is there a safe level of demonic presence? Is there a point in time where you could be like, you know what? This amount of demonic presence in my life, um, I can deal with that amount. But I suppose when you've got these like giant energy orbs with teeth coming out of them that are pulsating and undulating, and you got this like face growing out of it and this other face that's 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 definitely unsafe level and this is what i mean you pull it out pull this guy out and hell spawn attack and then you fight the demonic presence you keep things on the low oh, hello no i'm i was fighting you Ah, hello. Ah, take that. And that. Now, I would imagine my attempts to speak 
are going to be just fine towards the beginning. Ah, that was nice. That was not nice. Oh well. Still, it's convenient that I don't actually have to reload. Although I could use some ammo. Oh, hello. I think I saw some ammo up top on one of these, uh... Yep. There we go. So eventually there's going to be a point in time I will get a... Chainsaw. A gore nest. That's what those are called. Anything in that direction? Nothing in that direction. And then you get a little bit of time where you can be like, huh. And his secrets are missed. I'm probably going to miss... I, I should say that right off the bat. I'm probably going to miss secrets. I missed secrets uh, when I played this game the first time. Um, I shall probably miss them again. Just to forewarn you. He cannot be allowed to leave. I forgot the actress's name that she reminds me of. to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now. Just a little out of hand. I'm going to solve this conversation by punching. And that's about as much character development as you have in Doom. Which is interesting because you look at the Wolfenstein reboot versus the uh, Doom reboot. Whereas like the Doom reboot was like, you know, character development? You don't even have a face. We're not even going to give you a face anymore. You're just a guy in a suit. Arsenal tab, we got our available weapons. Limitless ammo. The Praetor suit. I have no tokens for it, so I can't unlock anything yet. And the Codex. Which is interesting that this game has a Codex. Considering, like, there's no character development, but... You've got a lengthy description of what a gore nest is. You get a lengthy description of how the pistol works. Still, that's interesting. Um, so now we are outside on the surface, which, unlike Doom 3, we can be out and about and not have to concern ourselves with such trivialities as oxygen. Because we are in a super suit, pretty much. We can... This is our super suit. Looks very nice. Mars installation off in the distance. Um, I don't believe... Yeah, I don't think you get damaged by jumping. It just takes you a second to get back up. You can climb up ledges. Which, uh, the farther you get into the game... Oh, hello. Despite the discovery of liquid water on Mars in the early 21st century, the colonization of Mars had little appeal beyond exploration for the next century. I don't like the fact that they use the words century and century twice in the same sentence. Um, hmm. At that point, I would probably suggest them to replace the second use of century to maybe like the next hundred years. Uh, like, it's saying the same thing, but it just kind of sounds bad when you say, like, the same words over and over again in a sentence. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Kill some things. Shoot some imps. Execute. Run. Ah! That was... <laughs> that had a lot less impact... ...than I was expecting. Oh, hello. 
Ah, nope. Ah. So now I can waste shotgun shells on these lesser folk. The problem is... Oh. Ah, there you are. And him. I will kill you. Oh, hello. I forget if they're able to damage you while you're busy glory killing something. Oh, hello. And that is a terrible waste of ammo, but that is fine. Oh, hello. Damn you. Which, uh, can actually be taking literally now since I'm fighting Hellspawn. Um. Oh, hello. And I believe there's some armor I could pick up. Aha. That was a nice context sensitive uh, kill. Nope, the loot. Yeah, that head just kind of exploded there. All right. And this lead. Oh, I believe there is a. I don't know if there's a secret down here, but I believe you get one of the uh, little, uh, uh, like the marine dolls is coming up. Like there are certain sections. Oh, I was about to say there are certain sections that I remember more than others, but clearly uh, that is a very accurate statement because I just turned myself right round in an attempt to get this blue key. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah, this guy did not quite have a happy ending. And now we've got our blue key, which I'm just going to remove from this guy's person. He seems to have been disarmed in battle. And hello, sir. How are you? Ah, it's it's adorable combat shotgun model. Ah, blue guy's right next to the blue key. I guess that's fitting. Frag grenades. Uh, left control or mouse thingy. Uh, to use equipment. Blah, blah, blah. Equipment has recharge timer. Uh, yeah. I guess this actually brings it a little bit closer to my Diablo 3 uh, comparison. Ah, uh, yep. And now I can just safely, from the comfort of my own home, up here on this cliff, pick off these guys, but that's boring. So let's uh, join them. Safe is usually boring in regards to Doom. And with this game, like, I guess that the only thing you don't get by killing enemies is armor. That is the only thing that is genuinely lost. Along with these guys' heads. Oh, hello. Off with your head. You don't need a head. You don't need a head either. Ah, nope. And there is another one. Alright.
Anybody else wants some? Nobody else wants none. Got it. And we got some armor, which I do not need, actually. Hmm. Oh, there's the objective marker. Hello, sir. Come back. I need your precious, precious upgrades. Um, so, okay, do we want charge burst, which does up to three round burst, or an explosive shot? Explosive shot sounds better, so I'm going to choose that. Oh, I have to get rid of you. Let us purchase the explosion, explosive shot. And he solves everything by punching. Like, did this little robot need to be punched? Did that robot had have a punching come into it? The answer is no. He is merely a jerk. Ouch! Yeah. Let's blow these guys up. Oh, hello. Nope. Ah! And I believe the explosive shot doesn't use uh, more ammo, so it's like, why not explode? Ah, ah. take that. Whereas I, I don't remember if the triple shot uses triple... Oh, hello. Somebody's shooting at me. And nobody's shooting at me. Still, I gotta say, I like the environments. Definitely echoes that Total Recall feel. But then again, it's on Mars, so everything... Like, Total Recall had the fortune of doing it first. Um, this is the way back. This is the way forward. Oh, hello. Um, anybody else? Aha! Anybody in there? Nope, damn it. Nope. Alright. I charged the shot, did not fire the shot. Nope, oh, hello. Does not help if I miss. But that is to be presumed. Let's let's uh charge on because I'm kind of a I've kind of been kind of holding myself back by just restricting myself to one area. Now let's see how many people I've collected. Oh. Ah, dude. <laughs> That was dangerous. That was unnecessary, but that's fine. Anybody else? I think there's probably a few other people. Um, oh, hello. Now, eventually, I'm going to get other weapons. It's interesting kind of how... Well, I guess this game kind of starts off similarly to any other uh, Doom game. In which case, you only have access to so much. And then you gain access to other weapons as you proceed onwards. 
Oh, hello. Um, let's see if I... Oh yeah, I didn't even bother using grenades. Um... Oh, hello. I should probably test out the grenades. Alright, grenades tested. Kinda, sorta. Oh. Ah, I remember this section. I think I got killed on the railway once. Yep. Hmm. Ah, hello. Ah, checkpoint reached. Excellent. Anything else? I think they're done out here. Let's see if there is any more. And uh, you, you kind of fill up to your maximum amount pretty quickly in between sections. Um, nope, that's just explosive. I do not need to blow up. No matter how promising a development blowing up seems like it would have on a person's life. Welcome to the UAC. Now 221 accident free days. Does this classify as an accident? God rested on the seventh day, but imagine how much further along. That's why we implemented the seven day work week. Now you can achieve greatness alongside your co workers every day. Let's never stop achieving. That's how you know the UAC is evil. Seven day work week. Disgusting. Welcome to the UAC. Now two okay, okay, that's, that's nice. Alright, I found one secret. One field drone, zero elite guards. Fantastic. Broken free from your prison, pitted against evil, the cycle begins anew. To discover the cause of the demonic invasion, first locate and align the communication satellite in the resource operations facility. Know your enemy. Always good to know. If you don't know your enemy, who are you even shooting at? Just some sort of faceless monsters and imps? Hello, I am Vega, the sentient intelligence assigned to Mars. After running diagnostics on the Praetor suit, it appears that I can activate optional challenges that when completed will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. I have added a tracking component to your dossier. Which is a fancy way of saying we've somehow included challenges for you to do. And made it story-based? Alright, let's see. Perform five different glory kills, find three secrets, kill two of the possessed with one trigger pull of the shotgun. So basically, do what you normally do. You might get rewarded for it. Hmm... Vega. Hello. Oh. Why am I running? I could be, like, ripping people's faces off. I mean, I can't really see, but hey, um, like, these, these demons aren't quite exactly the ones you run from. They are the ones you kill, the ones you rip and tear. Okay, I'll stop. And focus on opening this door. 
with as much Kratos Fury as I can muster. Ah. That is... That is... That is some good lighting. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this just turns on the power. I believe in honesty, especially now. And what will be your final moments in this world? All the rumors, the human sacrifices, the hell portal. The demons. It's all true. My sisters and brothers be thankful. That's actually my high school graduation quote. You will have a seat all the rumors, the, the human sacrifices, the hell portal, demons, the it's all true. For us. Starting now. Although, notice that's marked as previously recorded. Also, I remember the actress's name. Uh, she kind of reminds me of uh, Tilda Swinton a little bit. Like if they were casting a role for that auto map. I in honesty, especially now. So if that was previously recorded, was that recorded for me? Or was that recorded for somebody else? Anybody stand now? Hello, how are you? I don't know why I'm standing back and firing when I should just jump right in. Hello, sir. How are you? Oh. Wow, he just kind of got stuck there. And that's another interesting thing about this game, is enemies' bodies still kind of... Uh, disappear when they die. Similar to uh, Doom 3. Ah, shut up. I, I know you believe in honesty. You've told me about it. I also believe in honesty. I've heard your message. Aha. Possessed Engineer. During the Lazarus Wave event, victims undergo dramatic changes to their physiology, both internally and externally. Aside from fundamentally changing the comp composition of their internal organs, the high-intensity plasma wave is strong enough to fuse metal to skin. In many cases, personal items, such as watches and jewelry, can burn through skin and become permanently embedded in the victim. Wow, that's amazing. All right. But they frequently just have explosive devices burned into their chests. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Also, again, the lighting with this smoke coming from the grates is fantastic. And die. Uh, yep, hello. I'm going to run low on armor, I would imagine. But health, maybe not so much. That's what he got for trying to run away. Bad. Nope. <laughs> uh... Alas, armor is gone, but at the very least, I can get my health back. Oh, hello. And goodbye. Demonic Lockdown disengaged. 
It's very convenient that the uh, AI is prepared for demonic invasions. So much so that there is a setting for demonic invasion. Ah, I get the chainsaw. And that is G. To take on new challenges, to become more than you ever dreamed you could be, talk to your supervisor to see if you meet the requirements for this year's Soul Harvest. Soul Harvest? Yeah, you can get a hot dog, a cheeseburger, a breakfast combo, a taco from a vending machine. And you can get Grima, water, Dr. Bubble. The UAC, the world is us. How is I figure I might as well take this guy out the safe way. Hello. And run, 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 run. Ah, yeah, take that. That. I think he just flew through the air there. Um. Variety is, in fact, the spice of death. Access denied. Yellow security limits required. Alright, so that's the way back. Fancy room with stuff. Now I should try to avoid dying because of that uh, moving platform. Though it has happened. Oh, there we go. And got inside. There we go. And much like Doom 3, you spend a little bit of time in the ducts. But, luckily, the ducts are big enough for you to wander around without having to crawl. Nope. <laughs> what was I saying about getting uh, killed by a moving platform? I got a weapon upgrade point. Let's see, I could upgrade my pistol or I could upgrade my shotgun. Probably gonna upgrade my shotgun. Uh, let's see, reduces recharge time. Big boom. Instant load. Hmm. Let's see how instant, yep. All right, I think that was worth it. Although I would argue that all of any of those upgrades would be pretty much worth it. Hello. Take that. There's a gore nest over there. Got some health, got some shotgun shells, which is fine and dandy. Um, all right, let's, oh, hello, a straggler.
And now for the gore nest. I pushed the wrong button, but that's okay. I saved myself. Hello. How are you, sir? Uh, just because they are demons does not mean you cannot be polite to your enemy. And it looks like I'm getting close to the point in which I'm going to need to chainsaw somebody, so... So, chainsawed it is. Oh, hello. No. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell where people are because they move so quickly. Everything is really fast in this game. Uh, nope, hello. Hooah! Fantastic. Yeah, it came from up there. So, my suit can see the ghosts of technology past. Which I suppose makes as much sense as demons from hell, glory kills, chainsawing people into ammo. So yeah, who am I to talk? Aha! I wish I had another uh, weapon to use this on, though. Does this guy have another weapon for me to use this on? The fear! All right, I guess I'll get the charge burst as well. Now I forget how you can switch between... Oh, there we go. So that's the explosive, that's the charge. Let's see if the charge burst does use three uh, shots in one. It does use three shots in one. Okay. So I'll use the explosive. That's probably going to be more useful for the bigger guys. Uh, especially when you can just kind of like run up to them and then shoot three shots directly into their faces. Also, why can't I go in this direction? Security station activated. Oh. Hello. Nope, oh, hello. He was slippery. Slippery, I tell you. Hmm. Okay. Let us go on. Welcome to the UAC's Mars installation. Ah. Located in the vast Ellis Plain and This high tech mining and research facility. Is pushing the boundaries of the imagination each and every day. As a valued employee, your loyalty is more than just a commitment to the world. It's a commitment to the future of mankind. Thank you for your service. Ah, the heavy assault rifle. Which 
which is way over there. Shotgun is there. And I should still remember that I have grenades. I always forget that I have equipment. Oh, hello. Thing is, when you do glory to kills when you have armor, that usually just uh, pushes you in harm's way. And then you end up losing your armor. What does that do? I don't remember. Shall I pick it up and find out? I uh, shall pick it up and find out. Ah, Berserk Mode. Take that! Yeesh! That guy doesn't need a face anymore. Anybody else? Ah, that guy got out of my punching range. Um, okay. Mm. Anything else? I think there should be like one or two more enemies. Maybe. Maybe more. Um, yep. Hello. Ah, he didn't need, uh, internal organs. And also... I haven't mentioned this yet, but the soundtrack by Mick Gordon is fantastic. Ah, there's some health over here. In theory, there's one more guy. Um, hmm. Oh, yep, here it is. Is that it? I think so. I don't know so, I just think so. Yep. But I might as well pick up this. I might as well just kind of wander around because, like, half of. Say 20, 30, 20% 20 of this game is about being prepared. You could probably say that uh, being prepared is more important in like the classic Dooms, where the only uh, items you would actually be able to pick up nope, would be the uh, items you found in the level. Hmm. I have to get in there. Oh, here we go. Is that just a lot of blood, or are they wearing red? Hmm. Is it just me, or did the elevator's doors close? The doors close uh, before I hit the button. Like they were, they're like, ah, uh, we're not gonna take the time. This guy, yeah, he, he didn't die well. Although I suppose nobody dies well, really. That statement was uh, lacking enough Morgan Freeman to be authentic. <laughs> I I like the sound of the of the hand sliding against the glass. I'm blocking your access to the facility. Oh, you son of a terminal and I'll give you what you need. It's too bad you don't get to punch him by the end of the game. 
But alas, you, you, you can't get, get everything. And actually, you don't, I don't believe you actually get to punch uh, the villain either. Uh, the story just kind of ends. Oh, hello. I think the next thing I should remove is the recharge time. So I need to go up, I think. Why do I have two points of interest? It's probably to lead me to this thing, which will then... I notice ah, that you got the jumping points are labeled by these green lights to guide the eyes. And now where am I going? Down here? Maybe? I remember getting confused by this the first time I played it back in the day, so... Oh! And again, I forget that I have uh, equipment, which would be very useful against people with shields. I will try my best not to forget that I have equipment, but it's bound to happen over and over again because it's what I do. I kill demons and I forget I have equipment. And I critique the grammar of in-game uh, lore statements. You want some? It feels odd playing a, a modern game where you don't really actually have to worry about reloading at all times. Oh, hello. Like, most modern games it, uh, is, are usually just fire one shot, reload. Possessed security. I don't know why I'm uh, being so cautious here. Caution should only be thrown to the wind in this game. Oh! Low health, but that's fine. Low ammo, that's also fine, somehow. I swear. Oh, hello. Ah, finally, got one of these guys. Alright, what do I want? Do I want environmental resistance, navigation, equipment, power-up effectiveness, or dexterity? I don't really remember what any of these do. I think I always use that because it helps uh, find secret areas easier. Let's do that. Okay. Like, I don't think the tokens were quite as useful as the other stuff. Am 
Eh. Like, uh, weapon upgrading more specifically. Like, once I w upgrade the heavy assault rifle, then it's gonna be really awesome. Again, I don't know why I'm being cautious. Oh, hello. This isn't exactly the game to be cautious while playing. Oh, it's Vega. Not to be confused with a certain Street Fighter character. Who, depending on your region, may or may not have a Basque. Take it. Ah. It will give you strength. Help you on your journey. If you can withstand the power surge. Luckily, I can. Now, here's the question. Do I want more health, armor, or ammo? I think I want more health, because health is more consistent. Health is more important than armor, because armor is temporary. Ammo can always be recovered. So, health. Is pure Argent energy you've just taken into your system. It seems to agree with you. Hm. I will unlock the remaining Argent cells within the facility for you. Yeah, and it's Samuel Hayden, a robot. members deceased. 81% of the facility is on lockdown. Demonic presence through Bahar's installation is critical. According to the records, Dr. Hayden, the invasion originated in the Lazarus facility. It seems that a hell wave was activated, transforming 64% of all UAC employees into the creatures you see roaming throughout the facility. The rest were killed by the demons released from their holding cells by Olivia Pierce. So basically everybody's dead. He should apologize. Olivia was the cause of all this. And I believe you will have to deal with her in time. You may not agree with our research, but no Especially since I don't know what you expected to get out of it. Because it was in mankind's best interest to do so. What you now see in this facility is the cause. Of progress. <laughs> but none of that matters now. There is an emergency in the foundry. The regulators have been destroyed and the core temperatures are now destabilizing. They've overrun the adjacent facility. If the venting turbines aren't re-engaged, neither of us will survive the meltdown. All right, so save uh, the planet first. I think Doom 3 has this kind of scenario, too. Uh, you're supposed to stop a meltdown of the facility because one of the cooling rods gets knocked out. All right. But I believe that is as far as we're going to be going today. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.